Welcome back. We all know that Don Pike is a very good golfer, but is he a match for a former world champion who had some of sport's sharpest reflexes? Let's see how they went in our one hole par three challenge at Glenelg, all thanks to Optus. Welcome to uh, Glenelg Golf Club again. I'm joined uh, today for the Optus par three challenge by none other than Chris Dittmar, the <laughs> Triple M celebrity. How are we, Chris? <laughs> good, Pikey, how are you? Good, how's, your, how's the golf form? I'm a bit rough. I'm a bit erratic. Okay. Yeah, I'm one of those, all, one of those all, games, all, eh? all bluster, you know what I mean? I try and hit it as hard as I can, but... Yeah. Uh... Got some height on it. Was that bunker? Bunker, I think. I think it just fell short. Oh, that's nice. Oh, my God. Look at that. What a great market, shot. That's what a great shot. We won't talk about Triple M and stuff and your work with Rue, but I'm interested in your squash. <laughs> right. Obviously played back in the 80s with uh, the Khans yep. that were you know, outstanding players. Yep. Um, how do you reflect on your squash career? It was in two parts, and I'll tell you why. And when I was young, I was probably a bit of a, an idiot, really. I, was, I, was, I had no discipline, and I went to Europe as a 15-year-old. Yep. I was very lucky. It's a short story. The Australian Squash Association sent me overseas, thought I had some promise. So I was all paid for. Yep. And when you're 15, 16, you get away from school and from home, and I just went a bit nuts. And my dad sat me down and said, you know, how about you take this seriously if you want to be good? And I did, and overnight I changed, and I, I developed a real training ethic and a work ethic. And who was your toughest opponent? I, Jahangir. Jahangir Khan was, was the toughest in yeah. our sport. He won 10 British Opens in yeah. a row. They named him the Athlete of the Century in Pakistan. Like, he beat Imran Khan and, yeah. you know, some big, big names to be Athlete of the Century. And they flew me over for it. And rightly so, because I felt, you know, without me, he would never have been Athlete of the Century. <laughs> I mean, I, I kept losing to him time and time again. Yeah. And I, I really put him where he was, you know. So I felt <laughs> I played a you major put, role. You put it? him on the map. I did, I did. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's impressive. My God, I've never done that before in my life. Oh, birdie, well played. Thank you. Do you know it's funny, all the sport and everything, I've never been so nervous as I am right now, <laughs> I can't believe this. There you go, oh, right in the back Mikey. of the cup. Well, hey. a birdie and a, and a par, that's Just all right. a solid uh, hole of golf, so <laughs> thanks for joining us, Chris. Appreciate thanks you coming out. No, I enjoyed it, thank you. Brilliant.